Strong alliance in support of patriotic democratic movements in China held a commemorative march today ahead of the 28th anniversary of the Tiananmen crackdown. Scuffles broke out as protesters got close to their destination, the central government's liaison office in Western. The organizers say about a thousand people joined today's march, while police put the figures at 450 at the peak of the event. Rachel Lung has more. Hundreds of people gathered outside the playground in Wan Chai ahead of the 28th anniversary of the June 4th Tiananmen crackdown in Beijing. The protesters made their way past Admiralty and Central, ending their march at the liaison office of the central government in Western. Police had closed off a section of the Hennessy Road due to the public march. While many participants appeared to be middle-aged, the younger generation also took part in the event. This as student unions at several universities have boycotted similar events in recent years. We have to protect the human rights and protect any freedom of creation and to, to support and um, to gain for uh, democracy. It is important to voice out for uh, the democracy and the freedom in China. Uh, despite the variation in the national identity in nowadays in Hong Kong and uh, or the variation in ideology. Despite a continued drop in the number of participants, the Hong Kong Alliance in support of patriotic democratic movements of China says it is not concerned about the turnout of the gathering. No matter how many people turn out during the march, uh, the Hong Kong Alliance will still continue the struggle because uh, we see clearly uh, our demand for the democratization in China haven't been uh, achieved. Uh, we uh, see we also have the responsibility to continue uh, the student, uh, Beijing student at that time in 1989, their wishes uh, for um, the democracy China. Scuffles broke out as the group got closer to the liaison office. This after officers rejected the demonstrators' request to close a lane to traffic so that they could march along the road instead of the sidewalk. As a result, traffic on western streets was blocked. After about a 30-minute standoff, the group finally made their way to the liaison office. Rachel Ling, CVB News.